Fantastic. Hello there. Master Hellish here. Welcome back to my open TTD Let's Play here in my Series 4 Fantabulous World. And we are now today going to be looking a little bit at what we did last time because a lot of stuff happened last time. And, um, and we're going to try and expand upon that. Now, I have, since last time, already done a little bit of expanding. We have here the three coal mines that Doc set up quite kindly for us last episode. And what I've done is I've just taken those three trains and I've cloned them. So as you can see here, we've got two trains down here at Trending Hole Mines. Uh, well, one over here at uh, Foodborne at the minute, but the others are dropping their coal off. I'm hoping this is going to lead to a better flow of coal and you can see here that we're now getting up to 73% transported, 78 and 74 so that's not bad going really. Um, and over here at the power plant, um, we, power plant? Why does that say power plant? It's not a power plant, it's a steel mill. Hang on, that's not the same station either. Okay, we'll call it Drenning Hill drop off there you are just drop off we're gonna double drop we're gonna we're gonna double barrel drop off there we are uh, so we've got the drop off and then we've got the main steel mill station now because of the extra coal that's coming in the steel mill seems to have peaked in its amount of stuff that's producing only 21 percent was transported last month so let's have a look at the trains that are currently going. We've got two trains going, and it doesn't look like either one of them are really making much profit. So, where are they and what's going on with them? Well, they seem to have stopped. I think they've stopped because they're stuck. We've got a train, uh, passenger train here, which maybe looked like it could be electric, running on a line that isn't electric. Uh, now, I don't know if this was Stilgar and, or somebody else, but no idea what's going on. Of course, this train now is now at 47% in terms of breakdowns. It's running costs are terrible. It's all going horribly wrong. So let's just get that out of the way. Go on. Oh, it's stopped again. How much of this track did he need to convert and how much didn't he convert? Let's get this whole section over here converted and let's bring... No, that's too much. There, let's bring it to there as well. So there's a passenger train, but I'm not quite sure why a passenger train's coming down here. Let's have a look. Where are you coming? What's going on? Train 17. Come on down. Um, you're supposed to be going from Carbourne to Ladding Hatton. But you're not, are you? I have no idea why you're not. Is it because he's going to a depot? I have no idea. Well, our two steel trains are now dumping their stuff off. There we go. They've done that quite nicely. Let's head back up to the steel. Uh, do we need one more? Uh, I don't know. The, the ratings are rubbish. Let, let's get another train in. Let's get another train involved. Let's clone the ones that we've got. Get that one loading up. Um, brilliant. Right, now how's the operating profit going? It was going quite well, but it seems to have taken a little bit of a turn downwards, and that might be due to some of the backing up that we've had. Hmm. Well, let's turn our mind, mind our attention over to Farborn as well. Um, over here, we've got tram services going. Uh, the hotel was part of it. We've got 90 passengers a month from that, so that gives us a real peak in passenger flow. Uh, let's have a look at those tram vehicles now. What number are they? Uh, 33. So if we go down to the bottom... Nope. That one's 33. He's doing alright. He's made a lot of money this year. He's making a few thousand. Uh, who else have we got? Where's the other ones? There's another one over here. 32. 32 made a... Uh, where is it? Oh, hang on a minute. Are we, are we in... Oh, we're in February, so might not have made a lot of money yet so it made a couple of thousand last year and yeah that one made a few thousand too so generally the trams are going okay over here uh, how are things going down here at this steel mill well nothing was transported last month why was nothing transported last month looks like 
What's this? What are you doing? Where are you going with that steel? Okay. I have no idea where that train went or where it's come from or how it got there. Um, but that's, that steel train just went completely the wrong way. How many steel trains have we got running on that from that place? Two. And Scrappy 4 is one of them and is about to come out. So... And again, on the wrong line. Why is he there? Right, okay. Hang on a minute. Let's do this. We're going to bring it to get... Oh, he's gone that way. Of course he's gone that way. That's the way around the signal to place. Um, I think what we'll do, though, is we'll just stop him. There we go. And we're going to add an escape line. What, I, why is he there? How did he get there in the foot? No, no idea. We'll leave him to run. We'll leave him to run. Um, we'll put another steel train in, I think. So let's clone Scrappy 4. There we are. So... Oh, hang on a minute. No, he's going the right way, I think. Scrapyard to the steel mill. Oh, that's the scrap train. Oh, I didn't want that. Didn't want that. Wrong train, wrong train. Go away. Right, let's have another look. So we've got iron ore coming in. We've got stuff coming from the scrapyard. We've only got one train. Oh my goodness, look at... Hang on a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay there. Where is he going? Ah! Ah ha ha ha! There it is. There's the problem. We've got a signal round the wrong way here. That signal was stopping the train from using this track. And he used this pass-through track that he's not supposed to be using at all to get round and... Oh, gold, that's crazy. Okay, well, we need to get you off that line and back round. Uh, and to do that, we're just going to do this. We're going to remove that. We're just going to... Well, we're going to hide the trees as well because they're getting in my way. There we go. Come down here like that. We're just going to do that. There we go. Force him to go the right way after my signal issues. And that is completely my fault. I hold my hands up. You can't see me now. I've got my hands in the air. Um... And now we're going to fix this route here. We'll just put that back. Well, seeing as that's fixed, uh, let's have a look at making more trains uh, to shift this steel. Now, the only thing is, is I'm not 100% sure whether this is the best train for it. Running costs are 32000 It's six years old. Mm, what kind of train is it? It's the Type 2 diesel. Let's have a look, see what de uh, available vehicles we've got. We're going to sort by their reliability. Okay, so the most reliable ones are at the bottom here. So let's scroll down. So this is the most reliable one, 100%. But look at their running costs. 43000 a year, 100 mile an hour. That's not too bad. Uh, that one's worse. Ah, right, the Type 4. Um, is that cheaper? The Type 4 is cheaper to buy. And the running costs are... Oh, it's a little bit more expensive. I think the Type 6... Type 6 electric would be good. Hang on a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? You're off to the machine shop? Let's remove that. Well, that's because whoever set you up didn't put you on full load, and that was probably me. Um, okay, so let's get that train. Let's get that uh, fantastic Type 6 electric... 43,000, there we go. Uh, we're going to give it the same orders as this one. We're going to share the orders. Now that they're right, it's going to be fine. And he needs some trucks to shift the steel. So we've got the... It's not steel that's coming from here. It's metal, isn't it? Metal, yes. So metal's on that list. Buy a vehicle. We want to buy a few of them. Length 5 will do it. I want to make sure we refit for metal. Yeah, looks fine. And make sure it's going to uh, the steel mill first. There, everything is fixed now. I wonder why those trains were taking the long way around. Okay, uh, 
uh, what's next up on the list? Let's have a look at the station list. Take a look at the station list here and sort by total waiting cargo. We can see that Ladding Hatton has a lot of stuff waiting at it. How many trains have we got going to Ladding Hatton? A good number of trains. Um, some of which are making more profit than others. What's this train 17? Well, that's the new one that hasn't really managed to get anywhere yet, isn't it? I think that's that's the Ladding Hatton to Cartbourne. Um, so where's Ladding, Ladding Hatton's over here? There it is. And Cartbourne over there. It's a long way for the train to go. Um... It's a fairly direct route. It's not great. Um, Ladding Hatton does have a lot more passengers at it. Where, where do all the passengers want to go from Ladding Hatton? Let's find out. Right, so we've got lots of passengers from places going to other places. I uh, wanted to go to Ladding Hatton North and West. 24 passengers to any station from... Glenfing Hill West? Okay, that's a bit strange. If you wanted to go to any station, why wasn't you happy with uh, why wasn't you happy with Ladding Hatton? Um, passengers from this station, that's the most important one, I think. Right, they want to go to Glenfinfield and Tedham. I feel we need more trains going to Glenfinfield and Tedham. Alright. Uh, we have train number one, which does a route between Tedham and Ladding Hatton. Train number four also does the Tedham and Ladding Hatton route. Train 15, which goes Cartbourne Ladding Hatton, and train 17 also does Cartbourne Ladding Hatton. So, what we're going to do, we're going to get a brand new train. We're going to go for the new. Where's it gone? Ooh. What? What's. Oh, it's because it's not electrified. Let's electrify this railway. We've got enough money now. We've got a million. Let's go and do this whole lower passenger network. Bam. Did I do that? No, I missed. Do it again. Did I do it? Is it electric now? It's electric now. Okay, let's just check this main line. Yeah, that main line all looks electric as well. Good. i tell you what we'll do. We'll get another viewpoint up. Extra viewpoint. We'll go to the very top of the map. There we go. And we'll go to the very bottom of the map with this one. And we'll drag over the entire map. The whole network is going to be electric. There we are. That cost us about £300,000. But I think it was worth it in the end. Right, Ladding Hatton. We need some more trains. Because it's all about the trains. We'll get a new vehicle. We're going to go down the list and we're going to get the brand new electric train, which is fast fairly low in running costs and has a brilliant reliability of 100%. We're going to get passenger carriages. There we go. We're just going to fill it up with passenger carriages and we're going to say go to Ladding Hatton and then go to Tedham. We're not going to just have one of them. We're going to have two. We're going to... Oh, I ain't got enough money. Right, what's the loan situation? Let's borrow some of the loan. I'll pay it off between episodes. So, yep, yeah, let's clone that out one time, and we'll have both of those trains on the go. So, how many passengers have we got waiting there in total? 4,000 passengers? It's ridiculous. Things are starting to heat up in this series now. Lots of passengers all over the place. If we can get those passengers shifted, that's going to equal money. Money means I can expand. I don't know why this road is built here. It's completely pointless. They won't be able to go any further. There goes the first train, completely full of passengers. Uh, we'll track that train on his journey and find out what's going on. And then when we get to Tedham, we're going to do an, uh, probably some new trains between Tedham and Glenfing as well. And then we'll go back up to the top, check how our coal trains are doing, and yeah, just have a look at all the decent stuff that's going by. So we are shooting down the line at 100 miles an hour. Our reliability is down to 98% already. Um... I really do think we ought to have some depot stop-offs. And we probably need some depots along that main line when it comes to think of it as well. Uh, Glenfing Hill, Tedham and Ladding, uh, Ladding Hatton are the top ones with passengers. Uh, Cartbourne's next. So it looks like our main central rail stations are the places we need to concentrate on at the moment. 
Well, here comes Train 26 into uh, Tedham now. The other one not far behind it, and you can see it's cost us four grand to run that service all the way over here. It's going to get transfer. It's going to get some money. A total of about twenty-eight thousand pound, a profit of twenty-four thousand. Now we've got to go back again, but again we'll have a profit and a fantastic profit from our other train too. Right now, how many trains have we got running between Tedham and Glenfing Hill? Because it's a completely different situation down here. Um, we've just got the two. So I think what we'll do is, and they've got mail vans on the end. I don't think I want to do the mail at the moment. I want to concentrate on all these poor passengers not getting to where they want to be. So let's get the AL6 back out there again. Let's get it some passenger carriages. Hang on, that costs 40,000 pounds. Nope. Thank you very much. We're going for the cheap one. That's a mail van. Where's the passenger carriage? There's the passenger carriage. Ooh. Did I just... I just made um, the new ones with the expensive ones, didn't I? Nuts. Never mind. Oop. One too many carriages. There we go. So, we're going to go Tedham. No, no. Not Ladding Hatton. Tedham. And then... Where's Glenfing gone? There we are. Glenfing Hill. And we are going to climb that train right out of there. I don't know if we're going to have enough money. Yeah, we have. And set them all on their way. Okay, cool. So we've got four trains nipping backwards and forwards between Tedham and Glenfing Hill now. Can these bridges cope with the speeds? Let's have a look. At the moment, it's a, it looks like it's 150 mile an hour cantilever steel, so we'll leave that as it is. Glenfing Hill is a row row, but eh, two platforms should do for now. Ugh, I don't feel the need to expand that, really. Uh, Tedham... Is Tedham still doing okay? Uh, let's have a look at the passengers and the way they want to move around. The passengers from this station wanting to go to Glenfing Hill and all that sort of thing. Let's have a look. Uh, destination. Passengers 2. Right, here we go. This is what we really like to see. We want to see how where people want to go. So we've got a few that want to go to Tedham. Few that wants to go to Fuborn. That's the other end of the line. That's fine. Glenfing Hill and Ladin Hatton. Which is fine. That's good. Lots want to go to those Glenfing Hill and Ladin Hatton. So the transfer rate is going to be brilliant. Where are these trains that I just created? At Tedham. No, not that. Go away. Here we go. The two. The, the, it looks like the two new ones I just created have got the expensive carriages on them. Um. That was a bit of a mistake. And that's probably why those two trains cost so much more compared to the other ones. Um, but I think seeing as now the whole network is looking pretty sharp in terms of electricity, it'd be a good time to see about um, replacing the vehicles, I think. There we go. Now, this tank engine over here. Uh, we've got one tank engine. I don't want to re replace the tank engine. Uh, it's doing a tiny short journey and it doesn't really, it's not cost effective to have an expensive electric train do it. Um, I mean, it doesn't even make a profit now and his running cost is £27,000 a year. Top speed, well his reliability has gone down actually. That won't help and the top speed we can double that. Let's replace it. We're going to replace the tank engine with the brand new electric. Um, can we do that? Yep, we can. There's the A6 electric. Let's start replacing that. And you should see he should go into this depot and um, replace himself. So once he's finished breaking down, so even though his, his running costs are low, he's costing us in breakdowns and slowness. So in you go. There he is. And cha-ching, £171,000 later, we have our brand new Train 8 electric. Cost more to run, but will be a lot quicker. Okay, so that's that one replaced. Uh, well, so we got we got this one here. We don't want to replace that. Not replacing. Why can't we replace the diesel? It's greyed out. Is it because? 
No, oh, I don't know. Um, we're going to replace that old diesel and we're going to replace this diesel as well with the A6. Then we're going to replace this one as well. We're going to replace all of our uh, rolling stock with the new A6. It's going to cost us a lot of money to do. I think it's going to be good for us to do. Right, back over to our coal. See how things are getting on. Uh, over here, 70% transported and the ratings? Ah, they're up. They're up to about 70. Here, ratings... 70 and over here ratings 70 as well that's not too bad amount transported is looking quite good yeah all looking quite good there now I'm thinking oh one of the trains just upgraded to the new version that'll be faster and better um, hopefully we can get more steel coming through here we might have to start taking engineering supplies back because we haven't been doing anything with the engineering supplies at the machine shop and in fact we don't even have ratings for um, engineering supplies now and there's nothing waiting at the station which I guess is a good thing because it was all messed up previously so apart from passengers what else have we got waiting on our network well we seem to have some stuff waiting at the scrapyard oh, hang on a second let's do this in order uh, Tanner Road has got uh, a lot of stuff waiting for it looks like one of our trains really needs an upgrade um, but it'll get upgraded next time it comes round and goes into a depot let's have a look oh let's check our new engine yeah he's not he's not really he's not gonna run a profit but we will do overall it's a loss leader um, train 14 78 percent reliability maximum speed 90 mile an hour yep that needs to be improved hopefully it'll make us some profit later on this year how many trains have we got coming to this place? Just the three? Hmm, okay. I think maybe we're going to need another couple of trains to sort that out. So we'll come back here in a moment. This sandbank, 50% of stuff transported last month, and the ratings are good. The ratings for fish are quite good. Um, and the rag doll is 36 years old. Uh, Reliability isn't too bad actually. Um, possibly time that we um, we replace that service or decommission it at some point. Um, we do have quite a few sandbanks around here, so maybe maybe we could do something with this fish. Uh, let's have a look for the fish market itself. Um, it outputs food, which we could take to houses. That could be quite good. Or to the hotel over in Farborough. Hmm, might do that. Possibly something to look at next episode. Right, let's get that station list up again. So apart from passengers and all this ore at Tanner Road, uh, the next thing is the scrapyard. And the scrapyard's got quite a lot of metal. Now, these trains stopped for a reason. Just because one of them broke down, okay. So we've got quite a lot of scrap metal waiting here. We've got two trains working on it. Scrappy 4, which is the descendant of the original Scrappy, and this new one, one of which is apparently the wrong length. Go into a... Oh, hang on. Ah, no. Now, train 3 is the one that's bringing it from uh, down here at the industrial park. Um... So maybe let's increase it. What we bring in scrap metal, wasn't it? So we were looking for which truck is it? Is it that one? Wow, you can do all sorts on that one. I think it might be the bolster. Yeah, scrap metal. Let's refit for just that bit for scrap metal. There we go. Perfect. And you can carry on again. It was just annoying me. So we actually only have we have one train bringing it from uh, Fruitfield, uh, which is not doing that good at the minute. Um, and we only have one train taking it from Slondworth. So I'm thinking maybe we need another one. Now where is the train that's doing that journey? Here he is. There he is. Uh, what kind of engine is he? Is he the new? He's no. He's the Type Two diesel. Right. Okay. Hmm. Do we want him to upgrade him? No, we'll leave it for now. We will leave it. 
Okay, so uh, I think between now and next time, those trains are just going to upgrade themselves. They're going to, uh, we're all going to get that, was it, the 6 version, the electric 6. Well, that's what we'll call it from now on. Um, I, d I just want to see if this one, mm, or this steam train. I wonder if this steam train's going to, oh, hang on a second. Let's follow train 14. And, ah, that's not even open TTD. There we go, that is. Uh, let's see if train 14 even, um, rip ooh, that's a point. Hang on a second. Yeah, these suspension bridges are, oh, the best that we can have at the moment. Never mind. So I'm hoping this train's going to get replaced when it goes to, is it going to go to the depot? No, go to the depot. Right. Let's manually replace you with a brand new uh, AL6. So we just get rid of the engine, buy the new engine. Oh, I ain't got enough money. Flip. Uh, how much is it going to cost? 180, and we hopefully will have that soon. There. Right. Now I've bought the train back, and good, the orders are still in place. Uh, we'll send that out on its way, and then what I'll do is I'll clone it so that we have three trains coming from Tanner Road. Okay, so the network not really expanded too much today, um, but we are increasing the number of trains and hopefully increasing the operating profit. Look at that. That's what we're doing. We're actually starting to benefit from all the network that I've been building up over these episodes, and it's looking pretty good. The future's bright, the future's yellow, with hellish ink in Tedham Independent Traders. And we're going to leave it there for today. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Please leave your thoughts, ideas and questions down in the comments below as always. And I will see you sometime soon. Take care. I've been Master Hellish. It's been my Open TTD. Let's play. Bye.